I did my bachelor's in engineering. Uh, I did my bachelor's in engineering in IT uh, from the University of Mumbai. And this was back in 2010. So I graduated my undergrad program in 2014. Then I worked in India for three years. I worked for an American IT based firm uh, in Pune. That's where my hometown is. And then uh, eventually I decided that I want to pursue my master's degree, go for higher education. Then I started with the process of applying to schools and specifically business schools. So I was looking for uh, short programs uh, from a few of the reputed B schools in the United States. And I, uh, I ended up uh, pursuing my master's in information systems from the University of Cincinnati. And I graduated the program back in 2018, December 2018. Then eventually I started working towards building a career within the people management uh, in IT. I initially started working as a developer uh, for a small boutique firm um, uh, down here in DC. And right now I am working as a technical account manager with Salesforce. Back in 2014, when I was exploring, when I was thinking of pursuing a master's degree, right? The only good schools which I found back in India, specific to business, were like quite a handful of schools, right? Like uh, these are like the MB, uh, top tier MBA institutes. Uh, and somehow I felt the course curriculum was not technical enough for me because initially in my career, I started as a software developer. So I, uh, even though I wanted to pursue a degree in a B school, I also wanted my curriculum to be tech heavy as well because I wanted to uh, pursue a business degree specific to IT because that's where my aspirations were and the curriculum uh, for MBA degrees back in India they are not very tech heavy so that is what I found when I uh, did my research it's more focused towards financing or marketing right so that is when I started looking for options outside India and United States being like the hub of education of the world uh, it had few courses and even within United States, I went through the exhaustive searching of all the schools and the curriculums which they specifically address, right? And University of Cincinnati being one of the university which has a top tier MBA degree, they also had a B school uh, which for which the courses were tailored for someone who has like an experience between three to four years and they wanted to focus more towards like the IT real time, like the real world IT aspect of it. So that's how I ended up choosing the university just because of its course. Uh, I remember like I initially applied for six B schools and University of Cincinnati was like one of my ambitious choice just because of the course structure, the way they tailored it. And I just found a lot of their courses which uh, were quite relevant to my work experience, uh, which I thought would help me on landing a job in the United States. I applied for UIC, University of Illinois, Chicago, and uh, Northeastern University, uh, UTD, University of Texas at Dallas, uh, University of Cincinnati. There were a couple of few others I don't remember exactly, but yeah, I got like acceptance from all of these. The three major factors for me were uh, firstly the course structure uh, so a few of these universities they were just like they did not have technical courses at all as i told you right like so a few of these universities were my backup universities the second major aspect was the roi like the return on investment so uic being one of the famous names it was super expensive so i had to like figure out my finances and that was like uh, one of my next top choices uh, just in case if i did not get through uh, university of cincinnati right and lastly i also looked into the location because location also plays a important role in your cost of living right so university of cincinnati being in ohio i got the advantage of cheaper cost of living as compared to other big tier two cities like chicago and boston where living could be expensive so these were like the major considerations and also i was looking for a specific course in Tableau. So one of the Zen masters within the Tableau community, uh, they teach a particular course in University of Cincinnati, which I was very interested in pursuing. So you can say like the 
course structure as well as the professors who took the courses that also played a key role like in selecting this particular university initially i was evaluating uk as well but just united states being like the best in world for it related courses right and this was back in 2017 when i landed in us right and this was back in trump administration uh, and there were like quite a few uh, rumors going around that it would be complicated for international students to land a job after you graduate but i just like ignored all those things because like if you are because education was my primary purpose right so if you are willing to work towards your career eventually something would work out so yeah not specifically any other universities but only university specific to united states uh, i researched about my... i like i'm grateful that i landed up a job uh, quite soon after graduating right like i had my offer uh, i graduated in december 2019 but i already had an offer from a small firm which i joined eventually uh in the month of february 2018 and i started working full time uh, starting from may 2018 so i was a part time student for 6 months so yeah like as soon as you get into united states you have to start working on building your profile making those connections expanding your network and start searching for a job so and that is the foremost thing which everyone does here once they get into united states say like you land today probably within 3 days uh, if you are from a b school uh, you would start getting evaluation requests on your resume from your course instructors and you would work with the career department right on how to pitch yourself and how to what employers to target and they would try to get an understanding of your background and what your aspirations are and that's how you would start from there like with their guidance you would start applying for schools and i still remember like i think i landed in united states on august 8th and my first career fair uh, within my university was on august 15th so a week just after landing so the course did not even start like we, i just attended a couple of classes and then i had to go and attend the career fair within my university and start networking with the employers who were present there I completed my whole course in 15 months, 44 credits. So the course load was quite heavy, and uh, we were quite busy all through our grad program. Everyone in my batch, uh, I had schools uh, like I had courses starting from Monday through Saturdays. So not even like four days a week, which is the usual trend here. But I had classes five days a week, and all these were evening classes. so for a particular course you just sit for a single class you sit straight for 5 hours <laughs> so uh and rest of your uh, time you spend on doing assignments because you want to ace the assignments so that you maintain your grades so for me majority of my grad program was spending more of time writing assignments understanding the subjects and there were quite a few subjects which were pretty much new to us everyone who whoever moves from india we don't have a background in financing right and if you are a science student so that there are few courses which are required in b school like foundations of accounting and all these subjects which you have no clue about so you have to spend that extra effort to learn these subjects and apart from it like the life i would say is very exciting like it's once in a lifetime experience like i would definitely recommend i feel i still feel like going back to school because the connections which you make and i would say like being in united states you also get that advantage of having that international exposure you would make a lot of friends from different cultures different communities so that was one of the best part and weekends uh, you would eventually if you get some time from wrapping up your assignments you would spend it with your friends and you would be doing a lot of extracurricular activities as well just for example i was running the student club back in my university i was a president for a club called the information systems club 
so all of the rest of my time whatever i used to get i used to spend in working for this club figuring out new events and i had like a group of friends who were a part of this club so that's how we spend all our time together actually enjoyed like i really enjoyed my work and i still to date i enjoy my work because i've got like exposure for working for a firm american firm in india as well as united states right but with the exposure which you get in united states it's quite different than what you get in india and uh, that is where i like it so i have not decided yet whether i'm going to continue staying in the country for the next like whatever 3 to 4 years or whatever but uh, until like i i i i get bored of my job i would say it's still prefer to stay in united states and also like the life down here is quite interesting is it's quite different from uh, india you have to be independent and you have to just like you have to take care of your own self right like you have to do all of your stuff so it's just like the cultural aspect of it i like it i like the western aspect more as compared to the traditional aspects in india for all the viewers i would definitely like to say that yorkit is a really helpful community out there which helped me personally for getting through my grad process like the overall admission process until date right like even if i have any questions about visa It's a very friendly community out there, and I would like everyone of you to like, comment, and subscribe uh, to Yorkit's awesome channel.